call the precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Come on, say precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. We love your precious. Yeah. Precious Jesus. Lift up your hands and just call precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. because you're still doing new things in our midst. We thank you, Jesus, because we cannot get used to what you do. We thank you because you always do what no man is capable of doing. We bless you, Jesus. We celebrate you, King of Kings. We honor you, Lord of Lords. We say thank you in this place tonight. We honor you for what you are about to do in our midst. 
for what you have already done and for what you are yet to do. We celebrate you, Jesus, because you alone are worthy to be celebrated, to be honored, to be magnified, to be exalted above every other name. And the word says that let other mention of his name let every knee bow down and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, we confess your Lordship this morning. We confess your mastership this morning. You are great I am. You are beyond what we can call you. You are beyond description, beyond words. We love you, Jesus, and we celebrate you, our Father. Thank you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you for a beautiful Sunday as this. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a wonderful day. Lord, this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, for that joy that surpasses every human understanding. We thank you, Lord, for the peace that cometh from above. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, do I have a believer who says that bigger amen? If I have a believer who says an excited amen, do I have a believer who says a better amen? Do I have a believer who says an amen? Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to hit a high five to three people. Tell them that welcome to this wonderful, beautiful Sunday. Uh oh, I thought somebody is gonna scream on top of their voice. Tell them you're welcome to church. Tell them you're welcome. And tell them you look handsome, you look beautiful. Just tell them that. Just tell them that, that you're welcome to church and you look handsome, you look wonderful. And if you're standing next to a father, just tell them Happy Father's Day. We celebrate you. You are a best father. Just speak to somebody. Just tell them Happy Father's Day. And the Lord will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Do I have Holy Ghost Embassy in the house? Do I have Holy Ghost Embassy in the house? Do I have sons and daughters of the prophet in this house? Mm. Hmm. Jesus! Listen, I love the God. Oh, the prophet is online. He would like to talk to somebody here. God bless you, everybody. I'm praying for you. And uh, I decree and declare all those that are in church. Receive protection the spirit. There's somebody who is born in July. Who is born in July is from East, Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Go Eastern deeper, Papa. I'm from Eastern Cape, Papa. Go deeper. Oh! Oh, it's my father. It's my father. Now, I see the hand of the breaking the cord of the Divorce. Yes, I receive. I receive, Papa. Because I see at first you were it's like you are a Jewish. No, Papa, I was engaged. It's like I have two children. Yes, I've got two children. Oh! Yes, Papa, we are separated with the Father. Now, the Lord the Almighty, He showed me a vision, and I saw, I saw you Ella. I see a business, this business, it will be to do with clothing. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. I receive. Yes, Papa, that's what I'm doing, Papa. I'm traveling soon to Professor. Yes, Papa. And this person is sick. The Spirit of the Lord says, 
as I finish ministering, right now God is going to touch the person that person is from the world. I receive, I receive. Thank you, Papa. I receive. I receive. Financial curses are. I receive. Who is that man? Who is that man? It's me, Papa. That man, there was a problem. The problem, uh, 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 he was born like that. That is the That is the The man had. And the Lord is saying at this service, after the end of this go to lift up your hands and starting from today. He's putting on white. Uh, yes, prophesied. And the Lord is going to bless him so much. Amen. I receive it. I see you have been going through financial problems. Financial problems. Yes, Baba. And the things have not been working for you. Things yes, have yes, not Baba. Been for you. Yes, Baba. Now, as I'm looking at you in the spirit, the angel of the Lord has said to me that you need healing. You need yes, healing. Yes, Baba. Because there's been a problem of diabetes. Diabetes. Yes, Baba. Professor! Sharpshooter! Professor Baba. Go deeper. Diabetes. Now, when I looked at you in the spirit, the Lord took me. The Lord took me in Natal. When I went in Natal, I saw the Lord opening up doors for you. I received it, Baba. That God is going to give you so that is your financial position. I receive it, Baba. But the Lord is saying that you need healing. You need healing as soon as possible. Uh, 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 wise man, wise man, take your wise man, David. Yes, that wise is. man, David. Yes, that. Take, take your head. Take your head. Take your head. Put it on his nose, on his nose, and the angel of the Lord is going to touch that man, and you'll be healed. Touch it, touch it, touch it. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Have you touched his nose? Yes, Dad. Okay, give him power. Give him power. Release the power. Touch his nose. Touch his nose. Release the power. You I receive it, Baba. With power, 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 power. I see, I see the Lord is going to bless everyone in that church today. I receive it. I see angels. I receive it. Go deeper, Baba. Who is having three children? Go deeper, Baba. Because I see, I see it's like I've been keeping, you have been keeping like some children, some children, some children, some children. After the Lord God Almighty told me to pray for you, because there will be the grace financially that will cause you to open an orphanage, an orphanage. I see you have an I receive it, Baba. And you begin to support I receive it, Baba. Amen. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm just in prayer. I'm praying. I'm praying. Tomorrow I'm going to be in Johannesburg 
South Africa and the devil is going to be defeated. Oh, oh yes. Jesus. In Amen. The name of I receive it. I receive it. There is a woman. A woman. She's seated on the center. She's seated on the center. She's putting on red, and she's a little bit big. She's a little bit big. Big. You are free, sir. You are free. You are free. You are free. In Jesus' Thank you, Jesus. name. You are free. You are free. In Jesus' Pow! name. Men of God, deliver me, men of God. Prophesy, men of God. Yes, this one. This one. There is a spirit of rejection. Yes, it's true. It's There's true. Prophesy. It's true. I see. I see the Lord canceling every bad report against you. Thank you. Thank you. I receive. I receive. Prophesy, men of God. Prophesy. What? Yes, prophet, prophesy Hello. into my life. Look, I saw a big demon. I saw a big demon that has sat on your, on your womb, on your womb. There's a problem with your womb. It's true, it's true. I'm feeling pain every day, prophesy. I'm feeling pain every day. Prophesy! It's true, it's true. every day. What has been happening with your womb? What has been happening? I had a C-section when I got my baby, so every time I'm feeling pain on my womb, it's true. You have had two miscarriages. It's true. Go deeper. Now, right now, the angel of the Lord is going to deliver you. He's going to deliver I you. Receive. Take your two hands. Put them on your stomach right now. I receive, men of God. Put them on your stomach. Take your two hands. Put them on your stomach. Yes, I did. Thank you, my prophet. Go right, deliver right now. Jesus name in Jesus name take the power 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 angel push her right now push her right now push her right now in Jesus name 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 celebrate Jesus You, I, receive, I receive. And once again, I wanted to know that this coming Sunday we are having a mega, mega service. We are having a mega, mega service. I'm praying. Uh, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm praying for every father there. Can I see? Oh, can I, can I have some joy of all the fathers? All the fathers. All the fathers. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Stand. I want to take this time to uh, to celebrate and acknowledge and wish all the fathers of Holy Ghost Embassy worldwide, all the fathers all over the world. If you are a father, if you are a father and you are in the Holy Ghost Embassy, I want you to know that you are a greatest blessing. You are a greatest blessing. An act of protection. <laughs> A happy Father's Day. A happy Father's Day. Now, I want all the mothers, I want all the men, I want all the men to find any man, to find any man and just congratulate them 
or they just greet them right now. Hurry up, hurry up. All the mothers, move around, move around. Just congratulate all the Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Give it your hand. Hurry up. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Let love prevail. Let love prevail. I receive. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I pray for all my sons and daughters. I, I pray for all my visitors coming from different countries. I, I decree and declare that they have the Lord with you. In the Son of the Living God. I receive. I love you. see you tomorrow. And when you see my face, I shall prophesy. I love you, my wife. Paul! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Happy Father's Day to all the best fathers in the universe. And I believe that this day is a special day in your life. Amen. And guess what? The greatest father among all fathers, our father in heaven. Oh, we celebrate him in this place. Isn't he a father? He is a what? He is a what? Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, Lord. My beautifier, you've taken away their shame, taken away their pain. You made my life so beautiful. My beautifier, you've taken away their shame, taken away their pain. You made me just like you. My beautiful eyes. Taking away the shame. Taking away the pain. You made my life so beautiful. Say my beautiful fire. You've taken away. Taken away the shame. Taken away. Taken away the pain. Taken away taken away the pain. You made me just my beautifier, my beautifier, you've taken away, taken the, away the shame, taken away the pain, taken away the pain. You made my life so Say beautiful. Say my beautifier, my beautifier, you've taken away, taken the, away the shame, taken away the Taking away the pain, away the pain. You made my life so Say it for beautiful. Taking away the pain, taking away the shame. You made me just like you. He just made us exactly like him this morning. Listen. I believe in a God of wonders. You know, what he's going to do today, he's going to do great things. Hallelujah. I said he's going to do great things. I said he's going to do great things. believe? Yes. Do you believe? Yes. Do you believe in the God of Prophet Didi? Yes. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Just worship him. Just worship him if you can. Just tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you appreciate him. Lord, you 
you reign magnificently Lord you reign Lord you reign Lord you reign magnificently yes you reign Lord Because of anything but because we are celebrating the fathers in the house yes. and we are also celebrating the father of this house yes. and if you honor the God and you honor the anointing upon his head can I hear your celebration tonight can I hear your celebration somebody let me just hear your celebration can I hear your celebration hallelujah do you want me to prophesy we're gonna do Kanyane Kanyane. Hallelujah. Amen. What God is gonna do with your life, sir? Can I talk to you? Yes. Professor. Because. Yes, under yes, this mama. earth, nothing at all. Yes, mama. But the yes, Lord mama. says, I must encourage you. Yes, mama. And tell you that he's in the program of God. It is in his divine program. Yes. That by the end of the month of September. Yes, I receive, I receive. I receive. I receive. By the end of the month of September 2017. I receive. You will know that the God of Prophet Didi is a living God. I receive. And you will know that there is a I God receive. in Holy Ghost. I receive. I receive. Listen. I break every case of rejection. I receive. You know, you are a very intelligent person. But it's like, you don't even know what goes wrong. It's like you have every qualification that it takes. But you are not being settled. There's no settlement at all. There's lack of settlement that is in your true. life. That is and true. now the Lord says he's that interested to settle you after this service in the name of Jesus. Power. Now listen. I decree and I declare upon somebody. I receive. Where there's a need of settlement, Jehovah, my shock-up, he's about to settle you at the end I of the service. Receive. And I decree and I declare over I your life, before this service ends, God is I going to mark it. you for a bigger miracle, for a bigger testimony, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Listen. You know, I don't 
save an apologetic God. We save a serious God. Oh, yes. Who deals with serious matters. Oh, yes. Hmm. Oh. Hey. 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 I receive it. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. General Mom. Okay. There is settlement that is coming. I receive it. But this is like, I think, I don't know why this is like connected to the lady that I prophesied to on Thursday. There's a lady that I spoke to. God showed me your name like Rabba Shanga. I'm here, but there's mama. something to do like Balel, Balelo. Balelo, mama. Balelo or something like that. Because I hate something about Balelo. Again. Go deeper, Mama. <clears throat> Professor. I hate a good news. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I receive. That was coming to a phone number again. I receive. 081. Hey. 582. Amen. 7454. Amen. Now listen. Balelwa, Balelwa. Is it Balelwa? Bulelwa. Bulelwa. Amen. There is. It's not just settlement that is going to come. But I saw a connection to do with Dubai. Hey, receive, Mama, receive. I don't know what's going to happen with your job, but I'm seeing another connection to I do with receive, Dubai. I and the Lord says, I am opening international doors in our life in the name of Jesus. Oh. I decree and I declare over oh, your life. I receive it. Can I prophesy to you? I receive it. I decree and I declare over oh, your life. I receive it. There is something to do with transportation. Now, because... You know, my church is not here today. They went for a long weekend. Professor! My church went where? They went for the long weekend with their families. These are all new newcomers. Professor. They don't even know how to receive prophecy. Can I prophesy to somebody? Professor! Prophesy, Mama. Prophesy. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Professor! Professor. I think this side, that's where my church is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen. I saw something to do with big buses. I receive, Mama. I receive. I receive. I don't know. Do you know anything to do with transportation, to do with buses? I'm in the trucking business. You're in the truck business. But I saw... I saw... These are big trucks and big buses. Yes. And I saw these trucks which will be transporting things from here to a place called Kasumba Lesa. Yes. Kasumba Lesa. Kasumba Lesa. Yes. 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 And I saw an other trucks which will be going all the way. Professor! I see these trucks. They are coming from Port Elizabeth. They are coming from Deben and they are crossing two borders. They are going into Zambia. Some of them, they are going into mines in Zambia to going to deliver things. Because, listen to me. Prophesy. I saw the hand of the Lord. Can I prophesy to someone? Prophesy. Listen. I saw the hand of the Lord. I saw what? I saw what? I saw what? The hand of the Lord. It is coming upon you just now. I receive it. I decree and I declare. I receive it. You know, I saw God giving you trucks. Yes, I receive it. Trucks. I receive it. Man. Not just a truck, I receive but it. how many? Trucks. I receive it. I receive it. I receive So many trucks. I receive. I receive. And I saw a connection with somebody like the name like Mutual, Mutual, Mutale and Mwanza, something like that. There'll be a connection with somebody who will be coming from the copper belt of Zambia that God is going to give you. And it. this person is into bus, something like buses, 
something like buses. And the Lord says, he's going to introduce you to this kind of business. You'll not just have one bus. Yes. you not just have two buses. I receive it. I receive. You have more than 10 buses that I are going to come to you. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Every stagnation in your business, I, I break it today. You will prosper from today in the I name of Jesus. It. I decree and I declare over I your life. Every spirit of stagnation is breaking now. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I Any spirit that refuses you to settle in life. I, I break it now in the name I of Jesus. Receive. Somebody say. Can I tell you what you say? Oh yes. Say settlement is my portion. Settlement is my portion. Say 2017, I'm guaranteed for settlement. 2017, I'm guaranteed for settlement. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh, yes. What do I mean? It's high time you got settled in every area of your life. Amen. We're not talking about settlement. You get married today and then tomorrow you get broke. Oh. Ah. You want to have a wedding, you feed people cakes, you, they drink, they dance. At the end of the day, you don't even know what to feed your wife. That's not settlement. I mean proper settlement. Amen. Where you shall have abundance. Where you shall have excess. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your cup shall overflow. Your cup shall run over. I if you are a believer, say, I receive it. I receive it. Sit down on top of the heads of your enemies and then let's see what the Lord is going to do today. Mm. But I didn't say you sit down and you don't help me to minister today. Amen. I said amen. amen. I said amen. amen. I said amen. amen. I said amen. amen. Somebody said power. Power. Today, I want to take it as easy as possible. I want to take it as easy as possible. Because I serve Jehovah the bulldozer. And you know when the bulldozer wants to bulldoze something, it doesn't really show the level of speed. And it's not really a speed thing. But when it acts when it does it takes its functionality something big takes place so today the Lord is going to do something tell your neighbor say sit back and relax and fasten your seat belt don't loosen it until the pilot say so say until the commander say so Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. What an amazing God we say. What a what? Yeah. What an amazing and a victorious God we say. Jesus. Are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready for today's service? Are you ready for today's service? Amen. Are you ready? Yes. You know, in church, we have all kinds of uh, individuals. We have spiritual babies. We have the matured. We have those who are still in the womb, but they're not yet babies. <laughs> they are still, what can I call them? <laughs> they are still a fetus or a what? An embryo. So, and there's some who are just born today. They don't understand nothing. And there's some who were born yesterday. They understand, they understand nothing apart from the face of their mother or their father. <laughs> I don't know which one comes first. And there's some who are grown up and they understand what it means to be a child. And there's some who are too grown up who have overgrown even their parents. So I don't know who you are today, but God wants to talk to the children of God. He wants to talk to his own children. Amen. I said God wants to talk to his own children. Amen. I said God wants to talk to his own children. Amen. Amen. I said amen. I said amen. I said, amen. Jesus. Oh, 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 only you 
We got you, got you, got you. Oh, 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 only you be God, you, God, you, God, you. Only you be God. Only you be God, you. God, you. Come on, somebody, just rise up on your feet. Come on, say, say, oh. Only you be God. Only you be God. I say, God, you, God, you, God, you. Only you be God. Only you be God. God, you, God, you, God, you. Somebody just make some noise for the world. So let's go like this. Come on, somebody. Let's... Come on, somebody. Just make some noise in the house. Just make some noise. Ah, you can do better than that. Come on, somebody. Make some noise. Come on, say, say, say you are my papa. Eh. Hey, hey. Jehovah Jireh. Hey, hey. Jehovah Nisi. Eh. Hey, hey. Provider, hey, hey. say you are my papa. Hey, hey. Jehovah Jarad, hey, hey. Jehovah Nisi, hey, hey. Jehovah Shalom. Come hey, on, say, say you are my papa. Hey, hey. Jehovah Jarad, hey, hey. Jehovah Shalom, hey, hey. Jehovah everything. Come on, hey, hey. I say, oh, 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 only you be God, oh God, you, oh, God, you, oh, God, you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Only you be He's only God that we know. Amen. Amen. I said amen. Jesus, have your seats. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my best choir in the universe. I love them. Don't you love them? Ain't they amazing? They are powerful. Amen. If you are jealous, you can't clap hands, you can't sing, you can't do anything. I don't know what demon is just afflicted you. Hallelujah. Some people, they look so serious. You can't even address them. It's like they're very annoyed. This God, I love him. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So we celebrate Jesus. Amen. Amen. I said amen. 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 I'd like to honor the God of Prophet Didi, who has given me this opportunity to be addressing his people this morning. Amen. I don't take every moment that God gives me to minister to you for granted. I take it simply as an election by grace, and I take it as a doing of the Lord. Amen. I said amen. amen. I said amen. amen. And I honor the anointing that works upon Prophet Didi Isaac that I am standing under this morning. Amen. amen. I can't do without that anointing. Yeah, I don't have another source. That's the source. Amen. And there's, another, there's no any other God that I save apart from the God he saves. Amen. And I want to celebrate um, the special guests that we have. Is that Amen. 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 And I want to welcome all those that are coming here for the first time. I honor you for your coming. Amen. I know pastor will, will come you later during announcements. But for now, I just want to say, be at home. Don't feel at home because feelings, they come and they go. So just be part of this home. We are a home. We are a family. And I celebrate you and I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I pray that you'll be part and parcel of this family from now onwards in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. I said amen. amen. I said amen. amen. Yeah, so help me to celebrate our resident pastor. He's in the house with his wife. Pastor Keith and Pastor Bridget, I love them so much. May the Lord bless you. Amen. And all the pastors, Pastor Charles, Pastor 
Celestine, Pastor, who else didn't I see? There's Pastor Charles, Pastor Celestine, Wiseman David, Wiseman Musa, and Pastor Retiv. Uh, ah, all the pastors, I celebrate you. Amen. And, um, oh, I forgot my pastor hope. Amen. Yeah, I love her so much. She's such a Pastor Musa, we fire. Amen. I said amen. I said amen. Hey, Jesus. I want to talk about something that will lead us into something. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. Today is Father's Day, right? And I want to talk a little bit. Oh, maybe I might just talk about fatherhood today. Amen. I want to talk about fathers today. Yeah, even you women, you'll be part of this message. Don't worry. Amen. And I just pray that women will support me as I'll be talking about men. Amen. <laughs> Do I have your support, mothers? <laughs> I want to talk on your behalf. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So are you going to support me? Yeah. And fathers, are you going to let me talk about you? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So happy Father's Day to you. I have a special message for all the fathers in the house this morning. And uh, the title of my message is... Receiving the honor of a father. Receiving the honor of being a father or receiving the honor of a father or of fatherhood. Whichever English you think is appropriate for you, write it down. Hallelujah. So, we are going to talk about fatherhood and I believe that God is going to do something great. At the end of the service. Amen. Jesus, we love you. Have we written down? Now, who is a father? Who is a father? The word father comes from a Greek or a Hebrew word that means Abba. A double B A Abba. Amen. And the word Abba means source, it means sustainer, it means the root. It means the foundation of life. It also means the genetic pool. That's what the word father means. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I want you to write quickly because I don't want you to miss anything. I want you to if you are a father. Amen. And if you're a woman, you're... Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, I want you to understand that most men, they are very quick. Most men, they are very quick. True? Is that true? Is that true? Yeah. Every man is the herd and not by functionality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to understand that when God was creating a man, when God was creating man, God was building himself a house. When God was creating a man, God was creating himself a temple where he could dwell. So, in other words, the Bible says, 
We are the temples of the Holy Spirit, right? In other words, God dwells in us as human beings. Not so? Does he dwell in us? Does he dwell in us? Now, if God dwells in us, there are certain characteristics that God has that every man must have. Jesus. I'm going to take it deeper. Don't worry. I just want you to understand me now. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Now, I want somebody to read for me from the book of um, First Corinthians chapter number 4 verse 15 to 16 in NIV. NIV. NIV, 1 Corinthians chapter number 4, verse 15 to 16. Thank you, Mama, for the opportunity to read, to read the word of God in your presence. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, yes. verse 15 reads, Yes. For though, I beg your pardon, you said NIV. NIV. Even though you have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. Mm -hmm. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I'm sending you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Paul says... For though you might have 10,000 instructors, in other words, you might have 10,000 guidance in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Amen. So in other words, Apostle Paul confirms to say, he is the only spiritual father to who? To Timothy. So he states to him to say, you can have so many Spiritual, you can have 10,000 guardians. You can have a million of guardians. You can have a million of teachers. But you don't have so many fathers. Amen. Each and every person here is on born from one father. Amen. No matter how many men your mother could have slept with in that work, but there was only one seed that had to develop that egg for you to be born. Amen. So, in, in this world, there will never be a moment where we have two fathers at a moment. It's not possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in other words, each and every individual has only one Five. father. So, now, Paul says, you can have so many teachers, so many guardians. You can have so many instructors, but you only have one father. Amen. Ask your neighbor, how many fathers do you have? Ask your neighbor, how many fathers do you have? Everybody that you see that is putting on a seat is Papa. <laughs> Prophet Polokwani is Papa. Prophet Nzanini, Papa. Prophet Kezeden, Papa. Hey, how many fathers do you have? Ask your neighbor, how many fathers do you have? Every woman who puts on a suit or a nice dress is mama. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Now, in this world, God expects us to have only one father. Amen. Amen. I said amen. Amen. Now, I want you to understand that there's no substitute for fathers. You don't substitute a father. Fathers always remain fathers. Whether he's a witch, whether he's a womanizer, whether he's a whatsoever, fathers, they remain fathers. Can you reject your father because he just committed maybe adultery or fornication and you say, I don't know him, he's no longer my father. 
even if you reject him in the physical, the fact that you still carry his DNA in you, you still carry his seed inside of you. Amen. Hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is no substitute for fathers. And a teacher is not a father. A teacher is not a what? A father. A teacher is not a father. And a guardian is not a father. Amen. A friend is not a father. father. Though they may take up the responsibilities of a father over your life, but they'll never be fathers. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, there is no substitute, there is no substitute for, a for a father. And tell them, say, no one can take up a place of a father in my life except my father. Do you believe it? Amen. Is that true? Is that true? Amen. Now listen, the greatest crisis that we have today in the world or in the national development, mostly what happens is that what we need most, I mean, the greatest um, crisis in the national development is not money. It is not lack of investment. It is not crime. It is not unemployment. But the absence of fathers. What do I mean? Fathers are there but they have not taken up their position and their functions as fathers. Amen. Being a father is not just being a baby manufacturer. <laughs> Some men are good at releasing their seeds. They are seed distributors. Mm. Uh oh. Appreciate, moms. Amen. They just know how to release their seed. They just know how to contribute in the incubator of a woman. Amen. But they don't know their responsibility. They don't know what God has called them to do after the child is born. Amen. There are a lot of people in here you don't even know your father biologically. Uh-uh. Is that not true? True. Is that not true? True. Is that not true? It's true. And yet, maybe you call your uncle as father. Or you call your grandfather as father. It's possible. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. So, if you're sitting next to a man, just tell them, say, take up the responsibility of being a father. Tell them, just push them and tell them. They won't slap you. <laughs> hallelujah. Now listen to me. You don't imitate a teacher. Amen? Amen. There's a difference between a teacher or an instructor and a father. Amen? Amen. That's why Apostle Paul says you can have many instructors. You can have many teachers. But you only have one father. Why? Because you don't imitate a teacher. At the end of the day, you don't want to become a teacher as well. Amen. They just impart knowledge in you that will make you to develop your senses and develop your thinking capacity or maybe your decision making. And at the end of the day, you can become a greater person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So some fathers are simply teachers. They just impart knowledge in you. Simple. And yet they do, still don't take up the responsibility and the roles of being a father. Amen? Amen. So a teacher will only impart knowledge in you and you only capture their knowledge. Amen. Not to imitate them. Amen. 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 But a father says, do what I do. Be what I am. Go where I go. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. And many children are malfunctioning in the society today. Some kids have become drug addicts. Some people have become um, alcoholics. They've become, you know, 
There's a lot of crime from these young men today because there was no father to watch over them. There was an absence of a fatherhood in their lives that led them into destruction. Because every home that has no father, it's a home of destruction. Because people think, you know, most kids, they think mothers, they can't really control them. They can't really correct them in the reality. And most kids, they think that the father only is the one who has the voice over them. True? Very true. True? True. Have you ever observed when the father leaves the house, people want to go out, they want to do their own things? But the moment father comes in the house, everybody wants to be settled in the house. Amen. True or false? True. True or false? True. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. So, a father must be a true and a real replica. And you must be a replica of your father too. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hmm. I want you to understand that anybody can correct your children. If they're doing something wrong. If your son is touching fire and your neighbor is close by, if he's sensible, they will tell them, this is what you want to touch, it's fire. Amen. So s- people can be controlled, they can be corrected by so many people. Anybody can correct them to tell them what to do and what not to do. Amen? Amen. But a father is the one that is always present to observe. Hallelujah. Amen. He's always present to lead by good examples. He is always present to hear the problems and the challenges that the family is going through. Amen. So I told you that God, when he was creating a man, he created a man as a what? As his temple. In other words, he dwells inside of you and that means that a man or a woman must carry the characters or the characteristics of God. Amen. Am I talking to a believer? Amen. Am I talking to a believer here? Amen. Now, a father is the one that you can imitate. If you can't imitate your father, then the behavior of your father is questionable. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Shake your neighbor and tell them, wake up. Wake up. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, hallelujah. Amen. I said, hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Now, the absence of fathers or dishonoring of fathers, it brings crisis. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And dishonoring of fathers shortens someone's life. So, can you read for me in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse, eight, verse 12. Exodus 20, verse 12. What does it say? Exodus 20, verse 12 reads, mm. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Mm. Amen. guarantees you long life. Amen. Honoring your father there who introduced him to the world who was John the Baptist. Amen. He was a great God in a human form. Even when he was so much anointed he still needed somebody to baptize him. Amen. He still needed somebody who could introduce him to the world. John says, he who is coming after me is greater than me. I am not even worthy to carry his sandal. Amen. In other words, the one that is coming And yet, he's the one who God has given the permission to baptize the great one. Amen. So that must give you enough proof that spiritual fatherhood is very important in each and everyone's life. Amen. And God says, honor your mother and your father so that your days 
may be extended. Do you know that you can be so sick on the deathbed? Your biological parent can come and declare, say, God, just remind God of one covenant they ever made for you. And say, God, remember my son for this and that. Amen. Do you know that it's possible that that child can come back to life? Amen. I remember in 2015, our son died, right? Angel. He died, and I remember we were with Mama Eva. And we're rushing to the hospital. And I was so broken, I couldn't imagine to see my son dying in my hands. And I remember Prophet Didi, he began to say, God, I invoke on the covenant that I made with you. I remember the promise that you gave me when I was still in Gretain. You say you give me a son who will be a prophet. Amen. And all of a sudden, he breathed on him and the boy got back to normal. To the point that nurses were very shocked. They were so shocked to see this boy who was... And he was busy playing around the hospital. Hallelujah. Amen. So what do I mean? There's a certain blessing that every parent carries. Amen. And that blessing is a covenant blessing that God has bestowed upon fathers. Amen. In other words, you are the gods here on earth. Amen. So if you don't honor your fathers here on earth and you say you honor God in heaven, then your honor is fake. Amen. If you cannot honor the father that you see with your own eyes and claim that you honor the God in heaven whom we have never even imagined or seen before, then your honor is somehow questionable. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Say it loud, moms. Mm. Now, a father needs to be a, co uh, a compassionate person. A father needs to be a kind person. Amen. So ask your neighbor, are you kind? Are you compassionate? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you help me read uh, Malachi chapter number 4, verse 6? Shake your neighbor, ask them, are you... To their children. Yes. And the hearts of the children to their fathers, mm. or else I will come and strike the land with a curse. Amen. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. To the children. And the hearts of the children to the fathers. Amen. Or else. So in other words, if my heart is not being in honor of my father, if I am not honoring my father enough, then the Lord says, I will strike the land with the case. Amen. So some of us here this morning, we have experienced so many misfortunes, so many disappointments in life. Things are not moving at all because maybe at some point we dishonored our fathers. Amen. And it is high time we made things right if our fathers are still alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Some of you, you have just built this hatred against them, maybe because they were not there when you were still young. And you came to know them. Other, maybe you had already grown up. That's when you came to know them. And you just have this inner hatred against them. Forgive them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said what? Forgive them. them. Amen. Forgive them. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. You are not the first one who never had their care. You're not. Do you know that me, I've never seen my biological father from the day I was born? Me here, who is talking to you? Yes. I never did that. I never had a privilege to be raised by a father. 
And I don't even know what it feels like to be raised by a father. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want to encourage you to say, Fatherhood is not just a name or a title. Real fatherhood is your presence, your position, and your functionality. Amen. There are some people here, you have grown up with both parents, but I might even be better off than you because you never got any father in love as well, and yet the father was present. Amen. And most fathers now, they have, you know, most fathers of nowadays, they are very mean and very bad to their wives based on how their parents used to treat their mothers. True. Now listen to me. You are not your father. You are yourself. Amen. Don't allow your wife to suffer the pains that you went through or your father went through with your wife, with your Amen. mother. Amen. It is your responsibility to break the chain of cases. Break it, moms. It is your responsibility to make your, your life better in your home, better than what your mother and your father live. Amen. Most marriages, they are suffering today because of what our husbands went through. True. So it's like the background of my husband must affect me on the things that I don't know. Or maybe because his father used to beat up his, his mother, then he should also beat me up. Or maybe he saw his grandmother fighting up with whosoever, and then it ends up like that. Shake your neighbor and tell them it's time to change. It's time to change. Don't pass on certain malfunctionalities onto your generations to come. Amen. Listen, fathers. You are the seed sowers. And guess what? Whatsoever you deposit on the ground is what shall bear fruit. Amen. So plant a good seed for your generations to come. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Hmm. Am I helping somebody? Amen. Am I helping fathers? Indeed. Am I helping you too? Yes, moms. Am I helping you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Do I have my church? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What am I talking about? Fatherhood. Huh? Fatherhood. Huh? Fatherhood. Okay. Now, how do you honor a father? What is honor, first of all? What does the word honor mean? Amen? Amen. So, number one, honor can have different uh, definitions. Amen? Amen. Honor can have what? Different definitions. Number one, honor can mean respect. Number two, honor can mean admire. Number three, honor can mean esteem. Number four, honor can mean to elevate. It can mean to encourage. It can mean to magnify. Honor can mean to celebrate. And honor can also mean to brag on someone. And honor can mean to appreciate. And honor can also mean to recognize. Amen. That's the definition of honor. Should I give you enough? It can be defined in so many words, but those are the ten that I can give you so far. Amen. Amen. Respect, admire, esteem, elevate, encourage, magnify, celebrate, to brag on someone, to appreciate, and to recognize someone honor means. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you don't honor a father anyhow. 
I told you the father, the word father means what? What does the word father mean? Abba means what? It means a source or a sustainer. The root pool. Amen. Amen. And honoring a father, you honor him because he is your sustainer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we quickly read um, maybe Proverbs chapter number 20, verse 21, 20 to 21. Or 20. Proverbs 20, 20. Let's go there. Let's see what it says. I want to help somebody today. Amen. Amen. Ladies, can we go and forgive our fathers? Can we go and forgive our fathers? Can we forgive the fathers of our children? Can we forgive them? <laughs> if you're there, my pastor, read for me. Proverbs 20 verse 20 reads, yes. If a man curses his father or mother, his lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. If, his, if a man does what? If a man curses his father or mother, his okay. lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. Hey. Amen. If a man curses his father, I know there are some people here who are very angry with their parents. Maybe because they didn't take them to school. Maybe because they didn't do what they wanted them to do. You have ended up cursing your parents. Is that true? You have ended up, you know some people, you might not have cursed them physically and gone and cursed them, but your heart is ready cursing them. Mm. So if you curse them, your lamp will be snatched away and there shall be darkness in your life. Amen. Sure. So you might be wondering why do people hate you? You wonder why do people reject you for no reason? You wonder why your business is not moving. There is somebody you have cursed unknowingly. And it is my prayer that today you will forgive that father of yours in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I said you will forgive that father in the name of Jesus. I receive. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe in a God who can restructure your life. Amen. I believe in a God who can redo, rearrange your life. Amen. After this service, may God rearrange your destiny. I receive it. After this service, may God rearrange your destiny. I receive it. May God rearrange your destiny. I receive. Hey. Amen. Now, fathering is different from biological conception. Amen. It's very different. Hallelujah. Amen. So I told you in the first place to say, fathering is simply a position and a function, not a title and a what? It's not a title and a name. Amen. But we have so many fathers who just carry a title and a name and they don't function as fathers. It's high time you took up your responsibility. Those who have children, you rejected that child. Maybe you abandoned that woman while she was still pregnant. Can we still go back and take up the responsibility? Amen. Can we go back and take up the responsibility? Because you might not know what case you might also carry as a father. Amen. For not being responsible for your children, for your offspring. Oh, Jesus. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody in Holy Ghost Embassy? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. You know, when I say fathering is a position and a function, not a title. Do you know that there are certain people we just honor them because of their position? Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you know that there are other people we just honor them because of their position? For example, if somebody has been elected into office, maybe he's a prime minister, right? Or maybe he's a president. 
you may not necessarily like them. Amen. But you still ought to respect and honor their position. Amen. True? Amen. True. Is that true? True, moms. So there are certain people you don't necessarily need to like them. There are certain fathers you don't need to necessarily like them or to have a serious bond or connection with them. But the fact that they are fathers, you must respect and honor them. Amen. Not because you like them. Not because they did what you wanted them to do. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking a, a little bit tough on you? No, no I'm being easy, right? I told you I'm take it easy. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. It's high time we started fulfilling the responsibilities of a father. Amen. Hmm. It's high time we started fulfilling the responsibilities of a father. So, a man can never give what he never had. Amen. So, you don't expect to sow a seed of a man in a woman and a woman to give birth to a dog. <laughs> I know that's quite deep for somebody. So, When you sow a seed, there's a certain harvest that you expect at the end of your sowing. Not so? Is that true? True. Is that true? Is that true? true. <coughs> now, some people have sown seeds, but they've never watered their seeds. You have given birth, but you have never taken care of your offspring. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Matthew 5, verse 48. Matthew 5, verse 48. Jesus commands us, commands fathers to be perfect fathers as the Father is in heaven. Let's read it, my pastor. Thank you, moms. Thank you, Jesus. And if you greet... Only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Mm. Do, not e do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be, Be perfect, perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So you are the earthly Father. You must be perfect. perfect. Amen. Because your heavenly Father is, is perfect. perfect. Amen. Amen. And people like justifying themselves to say there's no human being who is perfect. But Jesus commands you to be perfect. perfect. Amen. So shake your neighbor, tell them it's high time we went back home and perfected ourselves. Amen. Be a perfect father. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Be a what? A perfect father. Hmm. Now, Jesus is a perfect son of his father. Amen. Why is he a perfect son of his father? Because he carried the exact identity of his father. Amen. Because he worked according to the work of his father. Because he had the purpose of his father. He had to fulfill the purpose that his father gave him. Hallelujah. Amen. And he was also, he had the heritage of his father. In other words, he was so proud of what his father sent him to do. He had the power of his father. And that made him to be a perfect son. He had the authority of his father. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hmm. And he had the image of his father. Hmm. Ask your neighbor, whose image do you carry? Whose image do you portray? Some people here, they have nothing in common with their father, not at all. 
Not even 1%. It's like your father is a holier than thou man and you are the, the worst troublesome person. Where did you get that character? Huh? Where do you get such kind of a character? You need to have the characteristics of your father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Or maybe you fathers have not really taken up the full responsibility of being a father. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Amen. Am I helping somebody? Amen. Now, in order for a father to deserve honor, a father must have the following characteristics. Mm. Before I close, I want you to know about that. Amen. 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 A father must be a protector. He must be protective. He must be able to protect his family against any trouble, against any stress, against any other thing. That's a responsibility of a father. Be a protector. If you're sitting next to your husband, are you a protector? Ask them, are you a protector? Is he really a protector? Is your husband a protector? Does he protect you? Somebody says, mm -mm. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Hallelujah. When you are going through things, does he expose you or does he cover you up? Does he cover you up? Does he protect you enough? Does he shield you enough? Jehovah God, he's our shield, he's our buckler, he's our protector. And these are now the characteristics of God in a man. So God, we call him Jehovah our defender, Jehovah our protector, Jehovah our shield. So if your husband or your father has no this characteristic, then I don't know where he's from. I don't know where he got his nature, but he must have the nature of God. Amen. Amen. Number two, a father must be a provider. Hey. The Bible says, let a lazy man, do not allow a lazy man to do what? To eat. <laughs> the Bible says, do not allow a lazy man to eat. Amen. <laughs> Some men are too lazy. They can't provide anything for their family, including bread. 20 rand. Is it 15 or 20? Hey. Hey. Oh no, you know, nowadays we help each other. Women also they must work gender equality whatsoever. Which gender? <laughs> the Bible says, a lazy man must not do what? He must not eat. So if you are a man, you don't provide for your family, you are a lazy man. And if your wife does not cook for you, don't question her. So many questions. Amen. Amen. You come home, there's no food. Did you leave money for food? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey. Amen. Listen. A father is a provider. That's the nature of God. Amen. Abraham called him Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah, my provider. If you are a father and you have the nature of God, naturally you must be able to provide. Because even when you are giving pregnancy to a woman, you are able to provide your sperm to your wife. Amen. Amen. Ah, God did not just call you to be a sperm donor. Amen. Amen. Hey. Amen. Hey. Amen. Ah. Hey. You are not just a father by trouser. Amen. You are not a father by your sexness or whatsoever. Amen. 
We need your real responsibility and functionality Amen. of who a father is. Amen. A father must be able to provide for the wife. Amen. Before you married your wife, she used to be sexy and beautiful. And now you think she's looking bad because she's not careful. And yet you have not provided the things that must look her, make her beautiful. Amen. 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 Ah. You don't buy lipstick for her. You don't buy makeup. Makes, my husband buys me lipstick. Amen. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it does. I don't go to the store and buy it. My even perfumes is the one who buys. He knows that maybe if I don't have, I'll smell like a rat. And no man wants to sit next to a smelling baboon. Amen. Amen. And now when the man has provided you women also be careful. Use those things carefully and Amen. wisely. Amen. Don't be careless. Amen. Can I go deeper? Amen. Can I go deeper a little go bit? Deeper. Go deeper, moms. Deep inside. I was telling people on Friday on Matters of the Heart, I said, strong women, they improve themselves. Amen. Strong women are not stagnant women. Not just because I'm married and I'm settled, I've arrived. You have you arrived? There are other powerful, beautiful, charming girls that are mushrooming that are much better than you. Amen. I don't think you are the best that you own that husband. Yeah. Don't think you are the best. The best are still growing. And remember now you are becoming an old mama. Amen. The more days passes by, the more you are growing older. Amen. And it's the more you are depreciating and losing value. Amen. So you need to improve yourself with these things that God has given you Amen. in order for you to look more beautiful every day. Amen. I receive. Uh huh. Amen. Fathers, can I get back to you? Amen. You are not just a provider of baby. You must be a provider of pamper and foodology also. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to a believing church? Amen. Am I talking to a believing church? Amen. Jesus. <laughs> Fathers must be what? Providers. providers. Is your husband a provider? Huh? Say the truth though. Is he in church? If your husband is in church, please stand up. Is your husband in church? Is he a provider? Okay, those who are here, you are the sons of prophets. Are you providers? Yes. Are you providers? Yes. Are you providers? Yes. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> if you don't provide, begin it from today. Oh. Amen? Amen. I pray that this Father's Day will change your life and your marriage and your system in your family. Receive it. Don't admire or compare your marriage to other people's marriages. Amen. You don't know what things they have invested in their marriage for it to be what it is. Amen. You know, a marriage relationship, it's a two-way thing. It's not a one-sided thing. It's not just for a wife to submit, submit, submit. And a wife does not submit to where love is not given. Amen. How do I 
submit to somebody who doesn't even define the word love in my life? It's not possible. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I said praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So number one, a father is a what? Protector. Number two? Provider. Number three, a father also has a characteristics of a teacher. He teaches his children or he shares his knowledge and principles to help his family members to grow and develop to another dimension. Number what? Number four. A father has a characteristics of a friend. He's a friend. Fathers, you are not Boko Haram. <laughs> are you John Cena? Amen. Are you Are you Savimbi? You are not what? Boko Haram. <laughs> a father must be a friend to his kids. In order for your son to learn good morals and good principles from you, you need to teach them with love and care. Not whereby the moment they hear that your car has come outside. The way they will run in their rooms and lock themselves up. Hey, is that love? You are initiating fear of unknown in the kids. They look at you not as a friend. They look at you as an animal. Or something that they use to scare kids. Hey. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Hey, ask your neighbor, ask them, are you a scaring thing or you're a good father? <laughs> Do kids run away from you? <laughs> or they run after you to go and welcome you home? Hey, check yourself if you don't find peace in your house as a man. Check yourself. Amen. Because your home must be a resting place. Amen. Your home must be a place of peace. Amen. So if you don't meet or find peace in your home, that means there is somewhere, somehow, where you have malfunctioned or maybe where your wife is malfunctioning because you're not giving them the love that they need to submit to. Amen. The Bible says, husband, love your wives. Love your wives. And wives, submit to your husband. Amen. And men are very quick to command women, women to submit when they don't render the love that women deserve. Are you just a head by your head? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you claim to be the head of the house, then be a responsible head of the house. Amen. Don't be a dander head. A man is a head of the house and yet he has no ideas, nothing. Full of water. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. So, a father must have a characteristic of a, a characteristic of a what? Of a friend, right? So that means a father must be kind. A father must be compassionate. A father must have interest in the things that his kids love. When your kids love jumping castle, take them once in a while for jumping castle. If they love playing soccer, play with them soccer. And tell your children how much you love them. Amen. Some kids that have ended up being raped, that have ended up 
into early relationships because they never heard the word love from their parents. The first time they heard the word love was from a man who just wanted to sexually abuse them. So plant love in your children so that when they grow up, it doesn't become strange to them. I hope I'm helping somebody. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Yes, indeed. If I'm helping you, lift up your hand and say amen. Amen. If I'm helping you, lift up your hand and say amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Shout that amen on top of your voice. Amen. So a good father leads by example. He leads by good examples. Are you sure your sons will be better husbands in future? Because you have been a better husband? Are you sure they will do better than what you have done? So lead by good examples. Amen. If all you show your kids is hatred and quarrels and confusion, that's exactly what they're going to show to their wives. And now the wives will be victims of things that they don't know. Where the soul sees. So if you show your, your, your kids love, you, sh you love each other in the presence of your kids. That's exactly what the kids are going to capture. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. So the other characteristic is that the father is a patriarch. What do I mean? He is honored by his moral characters and his actions. The other characteristic is that a father is a disciplinarian. He disciplines his household. He's a disciplinarian. He disciplines his household. If you as a father, you are not able to discipline your household, then your fatherhood is questionable. Amen. Your fatherhood is what? It's questionable. Your fatherhood is what? Questionable. Your fatherhood is what? Questionable. The other thing is that a father... The characteristic of a father is that a father is a spiritual leader. He's the one who instructs or he encourages his family to fear and love the Lord. Amen. And this has become otherwise. Women are the ones who are in the forefront in the things of God. Indeed. And men, they are sitting back, they're busy in the world. Very true. And yet, if in reality you are the head of the house, you are supposed to head your children into the house of the Lord. Amen. You are also their spiritual leader. Amen. Amen. Can I give you the last one? 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 Amen. A father treats his wife like a queen. Amen. A good father treats his wife like a what? Like a queen. Like a what? A queen. Do I have queens in the house? 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 So a good father treats his wife like a queen. He shows love and respect. And he lives totally faithful to his wife alone. That's a good father. Amen. If you're not yet faithful to your wife, you're not a good father. If you are not totally committed to one wife, then you are not a good father. Hey, I said you are not a good father. I owe nobody an apology. Amen. Ah, do you want me to do add spice or what? 
You want me to pamper you with lies? I don't. I speak as it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are a father, you treat your wife as a queen, and you, and you live totally faithful to one wife. That shows how responsible you are Amen. as a father. Amen. Being a responsible father is not you jumping from one skirt to the other. Hey. Yeah. I know you don't like that one. I know you hate that one. Right? I know some people don't like that. Because that is one of their characteristic. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every miniskirt that passes by is their own. <laughs> they catch any fish that moves around. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And a responsible and a good father, he shares his workload with his wife as a partner. Amen. He does not compete with his wife. He actually compliments his wife. That's a good father. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I said praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Fathers. I hope I helped somebody here. Indeed. I pray when you go back home, you're going to reflect on the few things that I've said to you. I receive. Right? I pray that I'm, you are going to reflect on a few things that I've told you. You know what is going to happen? When you make things right in your family as a father, even doors will open up for you. Amen. I receive it. Amen. Amen. When you go back home and make things right with your children, you make things right with your wives, God is going to open up certain divine doors that you even be surprised. You even be shocked how they opened up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. There's so much to fatherhood than just being a father. A true father, a good father leads by good examples. And a good father imparts his spirit into his sons. Because he knows his spirit is not a corruptible spirit. Amen. It's a good spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. This church. Can I preach to you? Preach, Mama. Makala Baksana. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I love you, Lord, with all my heart.
praise you. I praise you, Lord, with all my heart. With all my heart. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Jesus. With all my heart. I believe in the God that I say. Amen. And I know He's going to do something new. Amen. And I know He's going to do something great. Amen. I know the God of Prophet Didi Isaac is here today. Amen. Have your seats in a moment.
Magazine. I saw your pictures in a magazine, and this is one of the top, top national magazines. Yes, I receive. Jesus, I receive it. And, uh, this is something to do with designing, 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 designing. I receive. And I was worshiping the Lord, and the Lord says. There is a big breakthrough. Come, just come on this altar. Prophet, something moving, something changing. See his glory, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory, feels like say something is moving. Something's moving, something's changing. See his glory. Feels like heaven Something's on earth. Moving. Something's moving. Something's changing. Something's changing. Sing it away. Feels like heaven Something's on earth. Moving. Something's moving. It's changing. Something's changing. See the Lord. See the Lord. Feels like heaven on earth. I saw something to do with designing. I received from. Do you know anything to do with designing? I've got a company. I'm a fashion designer. I'm trying to expand my business. Oh, oh, professor! Now listen. Hey! Can you also be my designer? I've already made you some. <laughs> oh. yeah. Says something's yeah. moving. Listen. I saw him on newspapers, I, I mean on magazine. And this is one of the top, top selling magazines in I the receive. nation. I receive, I receive. 
you know, there's a divine favor that God is releasing upon I you receive, today. I receive, Mama. I receive. That is gonna be your Father's Day present today. I receive, Mama. The Lord is I going receive. to give you a supernatural testimony and a supernatural I anointing receive. to attract I some receive. customers into your business. I receive. Listen, as I'm declaring in His life, I receive. Some people are not in church. They're at home. They're on WhatsApp. They're on Facebook. They're everywhere. Can you come back to church? Oh, Shake yes. your neighbor. Say, come back to church. Come back to church. Hey. Professor. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Listen. I told you. Something is moving. It's changing. Listen. There's a song they sing. Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Jehovah, carry me the go. 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 Jesus, carry me the go. Jesus, carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go. I say, carry me. Carry me, oh. I say, carry me, carry me. Come on, somebody like this. Say, say carry me, carry me, oh. Say, carry me. Somebody's here. Carry me the go. Jesus, carry me the go. Carry me the go. Jesus, carry me the go. Say, Jesus, carry me the go. Jesus, carry me the go. Say, carry me the go. I say, carry me, oh, carry me, oh. I say, carry me, oh, carry me, oh. We are going high. I want somebody let's go like this. Is Jesus taking Come you on, to somebody. another dimension, somebody? Somebody celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Say, carry me there, go. Jehovah, carry me there, go, there, go, there. Say, carry me there, go. Jehovah, carry me there, go, there, go, there. I say, carry me there, go. Jehovah, carry me there, go, there, go, there. I say, carry me there, go. Jehovah, carry me there, go, there, go, there, go. Show, show, Come on, somebody celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Yeah, Jesus! Hallelujah! He's taking you to your destiny today. I receive it. He's taking you to your higher dimension today. I receive He's it. He's taking you to your promotion today. I receive He's it. He's taking you to your open doors today. I receive He's taking it. you internationally today. I Jesus, carry me the go, the go, the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me higher. Jehovah, carry me the go, the go, the go. Are you going higher? Are you going to another dimension? Oh, yes! So, the same way I sang this song, in the same way, the day you will come to testify, I receive. this choir will sing for you the same song. I receive. On a day like this one, I on a time like this one, I on a moment like this one, I on the church like this one, I on the choir like this one, I you will surely know that I saved the living God. Thank you, Jesus. I declare, I declare. Jehovah, 
first. That one with dreads. Did God give you a car? Did God give you a car? You have been praying for a car and God is going to give you I a car. I receive it. I receive it. Oh yes. Because one of your prayer requests is that God must bless you with a car. Yes. So number one sign that you entered the Holy Ghost embassy is that my God, the God of prophet Didi, is going to give you, he'll move you from Legatis Benz to a Mercedes Benz. I receive it! Somebody say yes! 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 Say, I am going from Legatis Benz to Mercedes Benz. I am going from Legatis Benz to Mercedes Benz. Say, from Legatis Benz. Legatis Benz. From Legacy Benz. From Legacy Benz. To Mercedes Benz. To Mercedes Benz. Pow! May it be a portion. I receive it. I saw God giving you what He gave him. Sam, I saw a car. I receive it. Now, you even question me to say, but how? I'm broke. Yes. I'm broke right now, but yes. how is it going to be? How? Yes. I know you're a broke man. Professor! Listen, I know you are broke now, but Jehovah my shocker. I receive it. Jehovah overdose. I receive. Jehovah my father. I receive it. Jehovah Abba father. I receive it. Hey. hey. I receive it. Carry me de go. Jehovah carry me de go de go de go. Carry me de go. Jehovah carry me de go de go de go. I say, carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go. I carry me the go. Jehovah, 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 carry me the go. God will take you into your destiny. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I take it. You guys there, do you know anyone by the name of John among you there? Do you know anyone something to do with John? John, 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 John. Is it John or something? Do you know anyone by the name of John? Professor Mama. Good tip, Mama. John, 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 John. There's a connection that has to do with John to that man in black. That one. Professor Mama. God will give you connections that will bring settlement in your life. I receive. Because there's not been any kind of settlement ever since you came in the land of South Africa. I receive. Because you've been even questioning yourself whether to go back home or what. I receive. You are in a dilemma as I'm talking to you. You are thinking of packing your bags and leaving this land. You're thinking maybe things are not working here. And I know where somebody is trying to encourage you to say, maybe you must go and try in Asia, somewhere there. Yeah, India. In India? Yes, ma'am. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. Professor! 
Can I? Oh. Can I encourage somebody here? Oh yes. Major mom, major side, preacher side, professor. Yeah. Because I saw a connection to do with John. I received. But I saw where God was showing me to say, but I'm seeing him packing his bags and he thinks maybe when he goes to Asia, things will be better. I Can receive. I give you an advice? I receive. Can I give you an advice? Yes, mama. Don't pack your bags yet. Amen, mama. Huh? Yes, mama. Don't do what? Pack your bags. Because it won't be good for you to be in the streets begging. You have nowhere to sleep. You have nothing. It won't be good. Prophesy, mama. Okay? Yes, mama. If I serve the living God. Amen. I receive. If Jehovah Gomorrah be my God. I receive. I receive, mama. Not AJ, mama. Mama Chinonzo. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, call me that one. <laughs> AJ is too small. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen. Sir, the God of Prophet Didi, the I God receive. that I say, I receive. He'll give you destiny connectors. I receive. And destiny helpers. I receive. There'll be people who come and invest money in your business. I receive, mama. I receive. I receive, mama. Don't worry about how broke you are. Amen, mama. You know, God created the heavens and the earth in six days. And everything that is in it. He cannot fail to change your story in a blink of an eye. I receive. Your situation cannot be compared to the creation of God. Amen. Come, go on that altar. Run. Professor! Carry me, they go. Jesus, carry me, they go, they go, they go. Jehovah, carry me, they go, they go, they go. Jehovah, carry me, they go, they go, they go. I prophesy. I receive. I said I prophesy. I receive. I said I prophesy. I receive. I said I prophesy. I receive. Favor in your in your career. I receive. I'm seeing you stagnant for a long time. No promotion, no nothing, nothing, nothing. No promotion, no what, no nothing. It's like you were born to be just on one position. From glory to another glory, I'm taking over. I'm moving from glory to another glory, I'm taking over. Say, I'm moving from glory. I'm moving from glory to another glory, I'm taking over. Say, I'm moving from glory to another glory. Say from grace to the grace, from grace to grace, from less to grace, I'm taking I'm over. Taking over. Say from grace to grace, from grace to grace, from place to place, I'm taking, I'm taking over. over. Say I'm moving from glory. Say I'm moving from glory to another glory. I'm taking over. Say I'm moving from glory. I'm moving from glory to another glory. I'm taking Can I pray for you? Say from grace to the grave. From grace to grace. Place to place. I'm taking over. Say from grace to grace. From grace to grace. From place to place. I'm taking over. Thank you, Lord. Say, say, 
I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. From grace to grace. I'm taking over. 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 Say I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Say. Yeah. If you don't want, sit down. Listen. Today I didn't come to preach. I came to encourage fathers. And I came to take one step at a time. Small, small. Kanyane, kanyane. No speed, no nothing. <laughs> Jesus. You, what did I say I give you? I give you what? What do you want? Job. Okay, give her. What do you want? I want a better job, Pastor. Mama. Power! I saw when I was giving you a job, I saw God saying, go and locate that one. Also, she needs a job. Simple. I receive, Mama. I receive. I receive it. Hey. Hey, Mama. I receive it. It's been long. I've been praying for a better job, Mama. Hey. The job that you're going to have, it will triple the salary that you have. I now. receive! I receive! I receive, Mama! I receive it! Because it's like you are laboring like an elephant. You are eating like a rat. Yes. Hey. shadow to heal people, to deliver people. So it's possible even evangelist hopes shadow can do something for somebody. Oh yes! Pow. It's not me to touch you, it's the Holy Ghost who needs to touch you. Oh yes! You love to be touched with From glory to glory. I'm moving. I'm moving from glory to glory. Jesus. Jesus. And I saw another favor that God is going to give you. It may Professor look Imama. impossible. It may look impossible as I'm talking to you. Professor Imama. I saw God giving you a very huge beauty parlor. Ah! I receive, Mama. I receive, Mama. I saw a very huge saloon where there's, there'll be a lot of beauty things going on around I your receive, life. I receive, Mama. That's my prayer request. I need a job. God will give you your own. No. I receive. You don't I receive settle it. for lace. You settle for greater things. I receive. May God give you better things. I In the name of Jesus. I receive. I decree and I declare over I your life. I receive it. Can I talk to somebody? Oh, yes. I'm seeing misfortune upon misfortune. Misfortune upon misfortune. It's like every time you are coming out of something, another thing has already been prepared for you. It's like after this trap, another trap has already been set for you. It's like there's no breathing moment for your life. Sometimes you even wonder, but why God am I still existing? Because I'm even seeing where the enemy wants to give him suicidal thoughts. 
devil is a fool. Oh, yes. very lonely person. Yes, he's, but he has this loneliness in him. Yes, he yes. doesn't feel this much attachment. Yes, yes. Can we reconcile you and your father today? It's Father's yes, Day. Please. Come in the front. Wow. Now listen. Thank you. Go. You will come back with a testimony. Just stand there, sir. Listen. Mommy. Mommy. Yes. There is a miracle in this place right now. Yes. Mommy, your word is like a razor blade. Uh-huh. Just as you were beginning the ministration of today, you prophesied to this lady here. Yes. That there is a connection to do with in, uh, uh, Dubai. Yes. Mommy, as you are busy ministering, there is an email asking her for a job in Dubai right now. Yeah. 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 Jehovah, carry me de go, de go, de go. Carry me de go, de go, de go. Jehovah, carry me de go, de go, de go. Carry me de go. Jehovah, carry me de go, de go. Jehovah, carry me de go. Jehovah, carry me de go, de go. I say, carry me, oh, carry me, oh. Papa Caribio, Caribio, Jehovah Caribio, they go. Listen, who is this God who knows your phone number? Ah. Number one, this God knows your phone number. Hey. I don't know, even know how God revealed that 081 something something 74 54 at the end. And God said there will be something to do with Dubai coming to our phone. Ah. Who is this God who knows your address? Ah. Listen. Prophecy is not guesswork. Oh, yes. Prophecy is not what? Guesswork. It's not something that you can prearrange and plan and say I'm going to say this and that and then that thing will come to pass. You cannot predict the future if you are not having the spirit of God. So within the service, a message has come. Yes, my message has come. Hey. What is the message saying? It says, hello, we are looking for a beauty manager, operations com cosmetics, with one of our large retail group in the Middle East, Dubai. Kindly advise if you are interested. How? Jehovah carry me the gold. Jehovah carry me the gold. I say carry me the gold. Jehovah carry me the gold. Carry me the gold. Jehovah carry me the gold. Jehovah carry me the gold. Jehovah carry me the gold. Hey Papa carry me yo, carry me yo. Papa carry me yo, carry me yo. Papa carry me yo. Listen. Continue to serve such kind of a God. You know, God can back up his word. And that's what he does. Just to show us that he is God. We are not here to joke. And God is not a respecter of human beings. He uses anybody who is ready to be used by him. Simple. So I know there are people who are here, they are waiting for Prophet Didi. Do you come for Prophet or you come for God? Is Prophet Didi your God now? Is he your idol? Hey. You don't come to God to church to worship a man of God. Unless you have made him your idol. I only serve one true mighty God. Oh yes. Hey, I am that I am. Ah. Hey. 
So whether a man or a woman of God is there or not, with the fact that I have an appointment with God, I know my God can do something. Oh, good. yes! Wow, how do you feel? I'm speechless, mommy. I'm speechless. You, you are powerful. Uh, you are something else. <laughs> God is powerful. Yes, God is himself is yes, something yes, else. Amen. You know, I can't take myself in the shoes of God. I can't feed them. They're too huge for me. Amen? God, the I am that I am, he's a great God. And he's about to change your life too. Amen. I said he's about to change your life too. I receive. I said he's about to change your life too. I receive. I release more grace upon you. promotion? Do you need increase? Yes, mama. God is going to cancel every date around your life. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. You will not live, live a life of debts. I receive, mama. I receive. You don't know how finances just go like, just go. you just don't go. even know how. That is true. Can I pray for you to get a house? Pray for me, pray for me mama. Pray Can for I pray me. for you to get a house this Please year? pray for me. I receive, I receive it. it. I'm not talking about next year. I'm talking about this I year. I receive it. Anyone who needs a house, may you receive I the grace. I receive it. Anyone who needs a new car, receive a new I car. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. We are going somewhere. Amen. I need to pray for this family. First, the congregation. Amen. Son, do you love your father? Sir, do you love your son? Yes, ma'am. Too much. Okay. Listen, I told you that there are certain things they cannot move if there's no earthly father's blessing. So you might think things are not moving because of what maybe there's certain words that parents they speak over us while we're still growing up. And those were, maybe you malfunctioned at some point 
And then they begin to say, you will remain like this. You will never prosper. You will never... Those words, they are a seed. And they come and manifest in future. So if you are a parent, mind what you speak over your children. Plant good words over your children. Plant good words over your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't plant words of evil. Words that you cannot reverse in future. Hallelujah. So they might be thinking, you know, you might, the father would think everything is all right. Everything is normal. And yet the son is thinking, oh, maybe my father said this at some point. Maybe that's why my things are not moving. Maybe this and this. Okay, what can you say about your father, your, you and your father's relationship? How is it? Uh, my father uh, is a person who's always angry. He's always angry. Angry, yes. He never showed any love or care. Okay. That's how I know him. I know him as a bitter man. You know him as a bitter yes, man. Yes, ma'am. I think that's what I was teaching, right? Yes. I said fathers must be able to protect their families. Fathers must be able to build and to defend their families. I said don't be a Savimbi. Don't be Boko Haram. Don't be somebody who the family will fear when you come in the house. You see people, they leave the TV room, they run into their bedroom because they are scared to say, uh oh, our father is here. You understand? So I think maybe he has also gone through a lot of stress. You understand? It's a matter whereby maybe a parent is also going through a lot of things. He has a lot of stress on him. He has a lot of burden on him, a lot of responsibility on him. And then he gets home, he still finds some children malfunctioning. You understand? And now he has to adjust as well to the level of this, to the standard of the children in the house. Hallelujah. So he's a bitter man and that's what you can say about him. Yes, ma'am and you feel he doesn't really love you. He has never shown you love. Yes, as far as I know. As far as you know. Okay, let me hear from your dad. Uh, he thinks I'm bitter because they get out of hand when I talk to them always. Yes. Weekends. Could it now, uh, the, the, the life of today is not the same. The same as the when I was, I was growing. Yes. It's dangerous outside. Yes. When I, I, I stop them from uh, going the whole night, mm -hmm. they think I'm a bitter man. Okay. So the responsibility is mine. Yes. If he, get, he, 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 he dies, yes. who's going to be responsible? It's you. Yes. Wow. So they think I'm bitter. So clap hands for him, please. Let's clap hands for him. Let's clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Don't stop clapping. Just clap. Your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Mom, do you have anything to say about the communication between your son and your husband? Maybe. What do you feel is the main problem? Yeah, yes, Mama. What I realize is that uh, Papa here get mm. angry too much. Even at yes, you. it is true. This uh, these children are are going outside during the night and we are afraid because now life is dangerous. Ne? Yes. So he, he became angry too much. Uh, he, he, they, they do mistakes. It is not that uh, we don't handle them. I handle them as the mother, but he, he became too much angry. I, I shouted at them, but I am not going uh, to uh, extreme. Uh, extreme. You see. Okay. This one here. <laughs> okay, listen. Shh. We, I did not call them for it to be maybe an, a, to expose them or maybe to embarrass them or maybe to bring them out, out of all. There are a lot of cases here. If I can point out families here, 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 this service, this one. There's a lot of trouble which are worse than this. This is not a problem. And I thank you, sir, for coming to church with them. That I told you that a good father... He's a spiritual leader. He brings his family to church. If he was a bad father, he was not going to bring him with you to church. You understand? And if you were a bad son, you were not going to accept to come to church. So, as a matter of fact, each one of us here, we have our own weaknesses, our own strength. So, I want to ask you for a favor. Can you forgive your dad? Yes, 
Can you forgive him? Yes, I, have, I already did forgive him. While you were preaching. When I was preaching, yes. you were already forgiving your dad. Because it, it came to a point where I, I developed some hatred. Because, some hatred yeah. when you just look at him, you hate him naturally. Mm. But now you're forgiving That's how bad him. it was, but I, I forgive you. Pow. Clap hands for Jesus. He says, as I was ministering, he has forgiven his father. It was so bad to the point that every time he looks at his dad, he just felt hatred in his heart, which was a very bad thing, right? So now that you have forgiven your father, guess what will happen? Doors will open for you. I receive, I receive. I receive. And I want to ask Papa, have you forgiven your son? I have forgiven him. Pow! Now, what is your desire for your son? Tell us before God, before the congregation, before him, what do you expect to see from him? I expect him to respect me and to get a better job so that he can be able to uh, do things for himself. Mm. Yes. Wow. He expects him to respect him. It's a commandment. Honor your mother and father so that it may be well with you. So no matter how wicked our parents may be, no matter how much evil they have done to us, we have nothing to do about their evil but just to honor them and love them as they are. It's our responsibility to accept them as they are. You don't choose parents. You cannot change. That's why I said you cannot replace. There's no substitute for a parent. You don't substitute them. You can't say, no, take me back in your womb. I go and be born in another womb. For where? <laughs> Not even Jesus did that. Hallelujah. So that means when you're born once, you're born once. It ends there. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Jesus. So, Papa desires that you respect him. In that you get a better job and your life improves. I receive. Mama, what's your desire for your son? Mama, my son, he has a, 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 a bitter anger. Can you please deliver him for, for that? And he has anger. This one. He has anger. Anger. Because when I, 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 I sometimes talk to, to him, mm -hmm. he, he shouted back to me, so I, I kept quiet. Oh, he shouts back at you. To, so I, and I, then I you stop talking. You stop and talking. then it ends up eating you up. You see? And you can't communicate. And I, and I love him so much, so please deliver him from this Okay, camp. he'll be delivered today. Now, now, now. Pow! Now, listen. I said, a father is a son's replica. And a son is also a father's replica. So what you plant is what your son will reap. So if a father is always angry, bitter, automatically a son will also have anger and bitterness. Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? So now, it's now the matter of God helping them as a family. We want things to move for you. Amen? We want things to go well with you. Because even this man here, he has lost a lot of opportunities in life. I'm seeing him as a great man, but he has lost so many business opportunities. So many That's connections. True. Even I was seeing him being connected to top, top people in the nation. But all those connections, I'm seeing them silencing just like that. And there's nothing to show. Sometimes anger and bitterness can stop you from receiving from God. Anger and bitterness can stop you from the flow of God. We don't serve an angry God. We serve a merciful God. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. 
So imagine if we were serving an angry God who was angry at the sins we committed 19 something until now. How much more were we going to have a God who was going to have against us? You understand? So the Bible says, forgive your trespasses. Forgive the people who have wronged you. So that your father in heaven may also forgive you. So can we forgive each other? Is it possible? Yes. Can we forget whatever happens in the past? Yes. Can we start this life afresh? Yes, 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 mama. And I would like to invite you today at the end of the service. I would want my pastor, my resident pastor, just to talk to you as a family. Yes, okay? mama. Yes, mama. You have an appointment with Pastor Keith. She, he'll be able to talk to you. Yes, mama. And uh, he'll be able to counsel you. Plus, where's my Pastor Charles? He's responsible for families and uh, couples. Amen? So we want your family to be helped. Yes. We want you to, you know, church is not just a place of I receive, I receive. What are you receiving if you are not dealing with the roots of the problem that you have? So no matter how many times you can shout, I receive, I receive, go deeper, I receive. If the roots are not dealt with, you go back home empty handed. Which will be a share waste of time. Hallelujah. So I want you to kneel down and ask for forgiveness from both moms and mom and pap. Just ask them as a son from deep down your heart. Uh, mom and dad, as I kneel down on the anointing of our father, Prophet D.D. Isaacs, from the bottom of my heart, I know I have wronged you so many times that I even lost count. So I'm asking you to forgive me and I promise to be the son that you that you desire me, that you have always desired me to become. As of today, I will always respect you and live and repent. I will never go back to sin again and I promise to always in the presence of God, Hallelujah. saving him, praising him. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. What a word. What a promise before God. Have you forgiven him? Just hug him. Just hug him. Show him love. Show him love. Show him some love. Show him some love. Show him some love. Wow. He says, he promises before this altar of his father in the Lord, Prophet Didi Isaac, that he will be the son that his parents want him to be. And he's no longer going back to the world. He has chosen to serve this living God for the rest of his life. Can I hear a celebration in the oh! house of the Lord? Power. Can I hear a joy in the house of the Lord? Oh! Power. What a joy. Listen, isn't that beautiful? How will you feel to hear that your son is a man of God one day? Oh, Mama, I will feel so great. Huh? I will feel so great. Huh? You'll be very grateful. Yeah, I will be. Okay, I will Thank personally you. ask Prophet to mentor him and to raise him into a man of God. Pow! We'll take Thank him you, Jesus. as part Thank and you, parcel Jesus. of our family. Thank you, Jesus. So that maybe we can help him in the words of the Lord and see how best he can save his God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So congratulations and thank you so much for taking your time. Papa, thank you for bringing, for being a spiritual leader, for being a good father to bring your family in the house of the Lord. And Amen. I pray that let the grace of God rest upon you. Let your doors open. I rebuke every spirit of anger. I rebuke it now. I rebuke you devil of anger. Every devil of bitterness, I command you to lose him. Come out! In the mighty name of Jesus. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. I pray for her. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Jesus. Father, release him from every bondage. Every case, I break it. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's free in the name of Jesus. I decree freedom in your life. I said I decree freedom in your life. I said I decree freedom in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. I May the Lord favor you. I in the mighty name of Jesus. I in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord who do great things in your life. The Lord who do great things in your life. I receive. In Jesus' name. Let's prepare our offerings and our tithes. And thank you so much. The people that are following us on Facebook, on DDTV, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's prepare our seeds and our offerings.